right, we're over to Christy now for her story, Inspired by Nature. Hi, everyone. I'm, I'm Christy Koontz, um, and I wanted to tell you a story from when I was in middle school. When I was in middle school, I was part of a club called the Escape Club, and this club was so big, I remember having to look down this giant list for my name. <laughs> uh, the club was meant to show us the abilities, our ability to connect to locations out in the wilderness and be part of changing um, and saving the planet. We as a group would go out and hike, enjoy the sun, sometimes the rain, and we would camp at, too. Um, and every location we learned about the environment and make sure as a group we may uh, would clean up any trash that we saw. So we would carry bags and make sure that we made an impact no matter where we went. Uh, this program was free and my parents were actually very involved too. So it made it feel more of a community. Uh, and one trip stood out to me the most. And that was when we went to Yosemite and there's this waterfall at Yosemite and it's called Vernal Falls. I remember feeling a little embarrassed to have my family on this trip because I was 13 and I was with my schoolmates and I felt obligated to hang out with my family. Uh, I distanced myself from them and from my schoolmates and I tried to scale this waterfall and focus on these steep steps. <laughs> I was not an athletic person. <laughs> so uh, this climb uh, was very nerve wracking and it was about 600 steps uh, and I was very winded. I could like, I was like drinking my water. I couldn't breathe. I remember going through my mind and trying to use all of the stamina I had uh, to make sure I didn't give up. And not only for myself, but for the group. And I got to a point where I found a rhythm in my breath. And although I was so exhausted and so hungry, uh, I was absolutely just entranced by the view. And I just remember just seeing this gushing waterfall to my left and the mist coming off the waterfall, just kissing our face, as well as the sunbeams and the rays of light, just kissing our faces. And they had like all these rainbow colors because of the water. And it was just the most beautiful thing. And I just couldn't, I was astonished to see that nature can be that beautiful. And that it humbled me. Um, and I remember just trying to push all that negative and nervous energy out. And it was hard because I'm on the side of this cliff, <laughs> realize that I'm, I'm trying to make sure I don't fall. Um, and I remember uh, just thinking my legs are burning and I was so close to giving up and just being like, you know what, I have to go back down. And just when I thought that, I had made it to the top. And when I got to the top, there was this just absolutely incredible view of Yosemite. And I could see all these stairs that I had climbed. And I remember feeling not only proud, but I was way too tired to feel self-conscious, which was very hard as a 13 year old. <laughs> I realized that that day, something I never had realized before. And that that was sometimes you find what you need for you within you. And I felt at peace with myself. I was able to feel so confident in my body and my mind and even thankful to the waterfall for not judging me through that excruciating experience. Um, this club helped me feel more obligated to participate in activities outside of school, in school, be confident to be myself in groups of people. And the older I got, the, I realized how lucky I was to live and to have this experience. You know, I had cousins and friends who had never even seen the ocean living in Richmond. And um, I knew that there were people like that out there that couldn't have these experiences. Um, Richmond wasn't the safest neighborhood when I was growing up. And although I was always cared for and I was always protected, I knew people who weren't. And I knew many times where we could have been in danger or um, in harm's way. So as I was growing and working and seeing how much trauma there can be in our communities, um, this experience became invaluable to me because I came to understand the need for a community and the need for a variety of exposure and these um, activities and environments for young people 
And I'm so thankful to you, Mr. I and Mr. Lau, <laughs> who created that for us, that space for us, um, and that club and experience for giving me and so many people like me the space to feel free and to belong to something more than a person, but to belong to this world. I am now most passionate about creating the same enriching experiences for young people with less opportunities. And I can only hope I can come close to being one of those great leaders that helped me become who I am today. Yay. Yay. <laughs> Thank you, Christy, for that beautiful story. Um, one thing that just, I feel like it just brings back this, this important point that nature also helps us really connect more with our communities, um, even like going away to then come back. Um, and I, I heard that theme in Wills as well, is like being able to go away, but find that grounding in our neighborhoods or grounding in the nature that surrounds us. Uh, yeah, Will, Rebecca, any thoughts? I love your story because I, I love um, those, those moments, those formative moments from when we're smaller where we feel so much ourselves um, and how much those kind of like reverberate through the rest of our lives. And I love hearing stories of people sharing those moments. Thank you. I I feel like all, all those, you know, experiences where you're on top of something, you're like, whoa, you see everything below, um, you know, cue, cue music. It, it has that feeling of like, I did this. I, I did what or I did what it takes to get to this position. And that really resonates not only for just people, but like you said before, like um, communities that need it like Richmond. Excellent. Well, thank you so much, all three of you. If you're